Now, besides actually paying vendor bills that we receive for our inventory, we also need to pay other types of bills. So we click the Enter Bills button, and we may need to uh, pay our rent bill if we rent a um, business space for our business. So we will type in the name of who we are actually paying. Now, when we put in a name of a vendor that does not exist, we can choose to quick add that vendor so we can pay them right now. You can enter in their information later if you'd like, but we're going to make a payment of $500 for our rent. Down here, here's the important part, we need to choose an account. Now it's not going to be an item that we're paying for, it's going to be an expense account. So if we're paying rent, what expense account should be affected? We will scroll down the list and we will find an account called rent expense. If you do not have an account called rent expense, you need to add that to your chart of accounts, right? So we're going to hit save and close on that. Okay, we're going to enter another bill. We're going to pay our utilities. So do we have any vendors that we can pay our utilities to? No, we do not. We need to pay our utilities to, let's say we're going to pay our electric. Okay, so we hit tab. That vendor is not in the vendor list, so we're going to quick add them and pay our electric bill to TXU Electric. Again, down here on the tabs, is this an expense? Yes, it is. What expense is it? It is a utilities expense. So we choose the utilities expense account here, and so that the expense, the pr appropriate expense account is affected when we pay our utilities expense bill. So I'm going to hit save and close on that. Okay, so that is how you enter bills, um, other bills, for example, your utilities and your rent, uh, maybe insurance, stuff like that, with the enter bills window here. Uh, we have not paid those bills, so we would need to click pay bills again. Notice we have two bills that are not paid. We click on both of those bills, the rent bill and the electric bill. Make sure all of the information is correct. The date, the method is check and coming from our checking account. We're going to pay those selected bills. And then we can print checks or we can hit done. So that is how you enter bills.